So one of the things we thought would be fun to do for Mother's Day is to share a recipe that we like to cook together. I find like every time that she makes it or if my son makes it, they're more inclined to eat it. Okay, we're gonna get our grill started. Today we are making chicken kebabs. You'll wanna assist your kids with this one. These are great. These are royal oak tumbleweeds. They get the fire started like anything else um, and they're just really, really helpful. So easy to use. Go ahead and give them a light. So uh, a natural tenderizer that's really good is yogurt. Um, you don't have to do this for too terribly long. It works pretty quick. You can do it up to about an hour or two before you cook. Did you do me the honors, dear? Okay. Uh, just kind of, I want you to do about like that. I'm going to get some gloves on. Don't do too terribly much. We're going to toss it around. So that's curry. Doesn't have to be completely submerged. That yogurt is really going to coat it and just do its thing. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of salt and pepper. If you're doing these in skewers, which you don't have to really, I just think they're fun and it's fun for the kids to do. But if you're doing them with skewers, I have these wooden skewers here that I've been soaking in water for a couple of hours. And the reason you wanna do that is because it's wood. And if we put it on the fire, it's going to burn up to a crisp. Remember the roll with the fingers? Yes. What's it called? Bear claw. Bear claw. If you notice, my chicken is these little cubes. They're gonna shrink up a little bit but we almost want to have like a, a little bigger than bite size. And that's the same thing I want for these, okay? Would be good. Okay, you want to do those for me and I'll get the rest of it started? That is great. And so for these, we're just going to cut like that. So the first things first is we're going to use a little bit of yogurt. And this is more of like an eyeball kind of thing. Garlic, when it's not cooked, it can get a little harsh. So you got to be careful with it. So I'm going to go in with you know, about maybe a teaspoon or two of chopped garlic. So we just want you to go like that. You can do that same thing with this one. Just because we don't want our tzatziki to be too loose and um, too watery, okay? Okay, so we have that. While you're doing that, I'm gonna chop up our dill. Is this distracting to you? Does that bother you? <laughs> start making these like little matchstick kind of looking things on and that is gonna go right in there that's plain. so garlic uh, you could have grate the garlic in there too so with my chicken I'm gonna build one and then you get to okay so one thing I didn't mention before is all your chicken should be equal it doesn't have to be perfect cubes but it has to be um, equal size because they need to cook all evenly you don't all right and I'll give it up. This is one of the hazards of cooking with a child. Just see my, for those of you that watch me cook, it's not normally this messy, but it's much more fun. When these are just about done, I'm gonna pull some of these off and toast them over the grill. Those char marks are so good. It's probably my favorite part. And I love the how it's opposite of that bright yellow from the curry. Okay. Throw, throw, <laughs> Okay, we are ready to pull from the grill. We went ahead and toasted these two pitas. Go ahead and cut that half for me. However you want to do it, this is your pita. However it sounds good to you. But look how pretty those, I know you don't like tomatoes, London, but look how pretty the colors and everything are. Cheers. 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 